Welcome back, fellow travelers, to America, or at least the U.S. The U.S. is open its border as of November, November, November 8th. International travelers are welcome back to the U.S. Now, there are restrictions, and we're going to go through this. So the first part of this live is just going to be talking about some of the things you need to look out for if you're going to be coming to the U.S., um, some of the rules, regulations, flights, information you need to know. And a few tips, because some things might have changed in the last 18 months since last time you got to visit the U.S. But it is open. Uh, earlier this week, there was all kinds of news of the two flights, like, leaving the U.K. at the same time to be the first ones to get to the U.S. I think the Virgin Atlantic beat the British Airway one by three minutes. Um, but it's cool to be knowing that international travelers are going to be back to the U.S. I know Americans have been lucky enough to be able to travel uh, to Europe for a while now, and Things are opening up. This is very exciting. They've seen huge numbers and growth and ticket sales and all kinds of stuff. So it's very, very cool. But before you go, we need to talk about some things you should expect before you get there. And I will say hi to everybody when we get through this part. But I know some people want to just get on and get the main kind of restrictions and rules and regulations so they have an idea what to expect. And for those of you that like our usual kind of like um, me talking to the camera videos, I will be making a video just on these restrictions, so you can watch that as well, but it's going to be a little bit before that comes out. Uh, but since this is something that is topical now, I want to get this to you. So the new rules, how it is for international travelers coming to the U.S. Well, there's some rules you need to know about. One, you need to be vaccinated. Now, when I say vaccinated, it's not just your first shot. You have to be fully vaccinated. That means at least two weeks after your second shot for most of the vaccines that are accepted. Not all vaccines are accepted. I will have a list of the ones that are there, but Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, uh, Sinovac, those ones are accepted at this time. I do not believe that the Russia Sputnik vaccine is accepted as a fully vaccinated thing. So if you're coming in from Russia, you might not get the okay. So you will need to think about that. Now, some people are asking, well, who's checking the proof of these things? Well, get ready for some long lines, people, because the airlines have to check, and some of the airlines have it so you can kind of scan and upload your, your proof of vaccination, your card, and, and that can work, but you might be checked by the Customs and Border Control when you come in. So you need to make sure you have a copy of your proof of vaccination. Make sure it has your name, date of birth, so they have that they know it's yours. Um, and even if you have a digital form, if you have the paper form, I would bring the paper form as well, just so you have both, because they do have the right to ask you, do you have that as a traveler when you're coming here? Okay. Now, it's not only that you have to be vaccinated to come, you also have to have a negative COVID test. Okay. Now, from what I've seen online, they said uh, the rapid antigen or the PCR is accepted. I have not seen on the CDC which one they are accepting. So make sure you're checking that out. But um, if you are fully vaccinated, you you need to take the test within three days of your departure. So you have 72 hours from departure um, to take your test, okay? Now, if you are one of the people that have the exception that you do not have to be vaccinated, whether you know it's a medical thing or there is not enough vaccines in the country you live in, then you have to get tested within 24 hours of departure, okay? So that's something to know. Now, a lot of people ask, well, what about kids? I mean, can my kids travel with me? We want to go see grandma who moved to Florida. We want to go see my brother who lives in Chicago. What, can, can the kids come? Yes, the kids can come. And the restrictions for kids are different than for adults, okay? There is not the vaccine mandate or the vaccine requirement for children 17 and under, okay? They do have to test, but they do not have to be vaccinated 17 and under, now, if they're between the ages, of, if they're two to 17, they have to test before they come. And it, it gets complicated. So just follow along with me. If the parents are fully vaccinated, then the kids can test three days, up to three days before they leave. If the kids are traveling by themselves, so if they're an exchange student or you're, you're sending them to go see grandma or something like that, um, or they're going on their own, or they're going with unvaccinated adults, they have to test within 24 hours of departure. These things are pretty strict, okay? So you need to make sure you're lining up your testing before you come here. And for Americans that are abroad looking to come back, don't forget, you, if you're American, you don't have to be vaccinated to come back. 
but you do have to test regardless of vaccination status. If you are fully vaccinated, you get three days before your departure to get your test in. If you're not vaccinated, it's one day. Okay, so just know you have that. And for kids zero to one, there's no requirement for testing for them. Okay, it is a lot of stuff. I know that. That's why I'm going to put. Um, I'm going to redo this and make a nice video so you have all the charts and you see everything that's there. But just some things you need to think about because things have changed. Like you can come uh, vaccinated and testing. Just know that's two things you're going to have to have. I know there's some exceptions to the vaccine um, things, but you're going to have to get a letter stating why that's there. And it has to be a, a approved by the U.S. government. So just know that it can be a bit much for you to do that. All right. Now you're coming and you're thinking, hey, I'm coming to the U.S. What am I going to do? What can I see? Is everything as cool as it was two years ago? Yes, the U.S. is just as much fun. And the, the natural beauty of the U.S. is still there and the cities are still there. But there's some things you need to know about when you're going to be coming to the U.S. while you're here. And it's more than just, you know, your vaccine requirements and the, you know, COVID testing, you need to realize is that in the U.S., a lot of businesses did go out of business during COVID, just like in every country around the world. So the services that are on offer might be less, okay? So that means where you do go, the lines will probably be longer. There's not, not always a ton of people that are going to be working in some of the service areas, so you're going to need to have a lot of patience. And if you've been watching online, you've been seeing a lot of people that have been attacking the flight attendants and the flight personnel and all kinds of stuff. Look, no. No, no. You need to have patience when you're here. Things are not going to work like they did before. More patience is going to be needed. So have that when you're traveling. And that means you're going to need to prepare for things, okay? So when you're thinking of places to visit, no, the Orlandos uh, that have tons of tourists are coming in and there's long lines already, those long lines might take longer, okay? But what's also important is you need to realize is that reservations can be a very big key to your vacation to the U.S. these days. So, and it's not just, I mean, no, you don't need to make a, a, a reservation for McDonald's, no. But what you will need to do is if you want to go to a nice restaurant or something like that, you're going to want to be getting that reservation before you're coming so it's all lined up because some places do still have restrictions in terms of seating restrictions and space requirements. So there is something to think about there. Um, and that's why I really think it's important that you really do plan out. I mean, if you've noticed the last couple of years, we've been putting out a ton more videos about the U.S. OK, so we have one coming up on the, the Bourbon Trail in Kentucky, which is which is a fun which it was a fun one to do research for and to go on. Um, but we have a lot of U.S. stuff out there from all over the U.S. to help people travel better when you're here. Um, some things you need to know is a lot of people were do, do I, like in France, where you have to show your vaccine status sometimes to get into restaurants and stuff like that. In the U.S., in the vast majority of the U.S., that is not required anywhere. Um, in San Francisco and New York, those places, they do have some places that do require that you show your, your vaccine status to get in. Um, but that's like two cities. You know, the rest of the U.S. is pretty not is not doing that. Uh, so so don't don't worry like, well, I don't want to carry it around all the time because what if it gets stolen? And then where's my proof? I mean, I understand that. Keep it with your password. Keep it in that safe location where you have your where, where you keep your stuff. All right. Now, um, I think another thing that's important is like when you look at mask mandates. Yes. When you are flying in the U.S. and you're in an airport, even if you're not flying, you need to make sure that you are wearing a mask. They are required there. Now, masks are not required everywhere in the U.S. If you're outside, you don't have to. But not all the states have mask mandates. I live in the state of Illinois and we do have a mask mandate. If you go inside someplace, you're supposed to wear your mask. Other states, I was up in Wisconsin, there was no mask mandate. So you need to make sure you know the rules for the places you're going to be going because what? Yeah, yeah. And, and so you need to make sure you know what the rules are because a state might have one set of rules, but the city you go to might have a different set of rules. So just be ready for that. Now, if you're wondering, hey, if I'm going to fly within the U.S., do I have to show my vaccination uh, card there too? For domestic flights in the U.S., as of right now, as of November 10th, you do not have to show any proof of vaccination to fly domestically in the U.S., okay? So you don't have to get that out when you're getting your, your ID ready to fly from Chicago to L.A., okay? So you're okay there. Um, let's see. Well, some other things I want to look at. Oh, if you're coming from the U.S. and other places, remember, if you needed to get your ESTA visa, you still have to go through that. You still need to make sure all your documentation is set up for that. That is still required. I think one thing you need to realize, though, is with all these requirements, it's a very fluid situation. Okay, so 
depending where you're going, where you're coming from, how long you're going to be here, you need to keep up to date with what's going on. Because uh, you might not be flying out of the U.S., you might be coming for the holidays, or you might be coming for spring break or something. You want to keep up to date because the rules do change and the requirements do change. So uh, I'm like looking at my notes here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, oh, uh, the va- the requirements when it comes to COVID testing is only for air travel. If you're going to be crossing the border by land or by ferry or take, you know, that you do not have to have the proof of negative test. Okay. Uh, so that's something to think about there. One of my other notes, because I wanted to get this all out there, because that was the title of this video of this live, the start of this live. I wanted to give you the heads up. I talked about kids. Um, yeah. So, so I will put together a, a nice, concise video on this, but I want to get this information out to you because I know a lot of people are starting to travel again and they're buying tickets. I said, I think they said it was like bookings were up 450% for international travel to the US or something. It was something crazy. Like people were going crazy, like we can go back. So now that it's actually here, so it is very, very nice. So uh, so if you have questions, please let me know in, in, the, in the question things. Um, I will get to those, your questions and that. So I'm going to scroll back up to say hi to some people, and then we will get to your questions about traveling to the U.S. these days. And, of course, keep it respectful. Keep it nice. Keep it, you know, we're a family-friendly kind of place, so don't get mean or anything like that. Um, let's see. Esther is changing leaves along the Hudson River. Yeah, that's one of the things. If you're going to be coming now to come to uh, to the U.S., it, it is prime leaf peeping season. If you're going to be going to the Northeast or your other, heck, even here where I live, you got these beautiful red maples and stuff like just gorgeous leaf changing. So it's nice just drive around and 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 visit. So one of the nice things. But yeah, upstate New York, um, Hester's planning to go there before uh, the snow comes. Upstate New York is Gordon's Finger Lakes. Got some wineries there. It's really, really pretty, pretty, pretty place. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna see. I knew that we would have some interesting people on this one uh, because I'm talking about the the thing. So I'm just going through some of these comments, and I've got to obviously uh, put some people in some timeouts for a little bit. So Chris Bates is in the Phoenix area. Says so many travels here in Phoenix weekends are full, and that's the thing. If you're going to be here in the U.S. during the weekends, people in the U.S. are traveling. They've been back traveling the U.S. There, I mean, the the flight numbers domestically are almost back to where they were pre-COVID. So people are going. People are traveling. They're seeing the country. So if you're going to be visiting the U.S. and you're going to be during the weekend times, you need to make sure you're booking your accommodation way in advance, because it's not like before where you could just like roll up and get something. It's not always there. Eric B., good to see you, my friends. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Chris Bates, the Canadians are on their way south. Yeah, Chris is in the Phoenix area, so there's a lot of Canadians that come down for the slightly warmer weather in the winter. That is true. Lori, I'm glad I could help out. Uh, I like to give information to help people out. <laughs> Pro tip, tell Americans call it the World Series is silly, as they're the only ones who competes in it. They love hearing that. Actually, the World Series is based off uh, the newspaper that sponsored at the beginning. It's not from the world. It was the world was the name of the, uh, it's like the Globe Maggot. The glo- why, why do you call it the Globe Theater? It doesn't have the whole globe. That's where it came from, the World Series. Not, that's not the world. Like when they say World Champions, that's different. But the World Series was actually based off of uh, a newspaper. Hi, Delfina Gago. I love. I'm. Thank you for loving the videos. Thank you, Sue. Sorry you couldn't stay. San Andreas. Hey, I'm coming to the Washington Friday from Sweden. Business trip, fully vaccinated today. Took a test. Yep. So you got the timing right. So you have a safe flight to the U.S. Here. Esther, your Wednesday streams are a great reason to work, end work early. Well, I'm glad I, I started a little bit earlier this time because I was hoping we could get more people that are from Europe um, that are going to be flying over because um, it's evening there. So I thought this would give them a chance to ask questions about what to expect when they come to the U.S. Um, just so you just so they have an idea. Usually I do these in the evening, but this one I want to do now to, to kind of help out. <sighs> Let's see. I'm just reading some of the comments. They're just really sad. People are just have no lives. So Sam's asking, just curious, does testing date apply to when you enter the plane or when you arrive into the country? Flying out of Dublin, so I have pre-immigration. So 
from what I have been told, it is from when your plane departs from your country. I like to err in caution to think that maybe my plane might get delayed six hours. So I, if it's a 72 hour window, I do it at 48 hours, just so I have that extra bumper in case I get pushed to the next day. So that could be something to think about. Baron, I really enjoy your overseas content. I hope you get to travel regularly again soon. Thank you very much. We will be traveling internationally again. We actually have had a good time uh, traveling all over the U.S. Uh, during the, the pandemic, we've actually got the kids to 27 states. Uh, so we've we've done well in that way. And that's why you've seen a lot of content of ours that have been from all over the U.S. And if you haven't seen our content from the U.S., it's probably because you're used to watching our international content. And so it the algorithm at YouTube basically is like, oh, you like international stuff from him, not U.S. stuff. So they don't show it to you. So if you're going to be traveling to the U.S., where it's New York, Chicago, Vegas, L.A., New Orleans, Savannah, Miami, New Key West, we got videos for you. So just look us up with Walter's World on YouTube and that destination. Yeah, Justin Potter. Hey, buddy, I just came back from Germany. The flight back was full of people coming to the States. Looks like some build-up demand. Yes, there has been some. For as much as as much as people like to talk bad about the U.S., people don't – like, people love coming here because you got friendly people. You got tons of crazy food. You got amazing, you know, uh, natural beauty to see. So there's a lot of stuff there. So I'm glad people are coming back because that's one thing I think is great for the world is when we're all traveling, we're, we're mingling again together. We're getting to know each other again. It's kind of like – you know, when you're like, you haven't seen your friends for a while and you see them again, it's like a little weird at first. And then you kind of break through like your buddy Liam's here. Come say hi, Liam. So Liam here, he, he gets to travel, but he still has to test when he comes back. Like I talked about before, we all have a test to come back, whether you're a cute little Liam or uh, not so cute Mark. So there is that. Uh, and I'm not bald. You hear that? He said, I'm not bald. Uh, yeah, so he gets mad at me if I say I'm bald. So, learn something new. So, Kayla says, "What a real question? What are you coming back to Europe? I moved from Chicago to Europe a few months back, and waiting to see you out here. Uh, you will see us very soon, very soon, and you will see us a lot next year, a lot, a lot. So, we'll be having all kinds of stuff. Paulo, attacking flight attendants, not even my dreams. I have better things to do on my trips." Exactly, Paolo. I do not understand the people that go after the flight attendants or go after the people on the plane. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you think is going to happen? You're going to somehow like, I'm going to be fine? No, look, you're going to get arrested. You're going to get thrown in jail. You're going to get banned from that airline. You're probably going to go on a no-fly list. And so good luck ever having a vacation again because you had some too much to drink. Or you Look, you got to chill, people. We've been waiting 18 months to travel again. You can wait 18 extra minutes for your, your drink on the plane. Okay, so... So just think about that. And as Lori says, take a chill pill and everything will be okay. So I have not been to Vorarlberg. Sorry. Kay says, ah, in, in Ohio, we have zero COVID requirements. Cool, cool. So as Esther said, in New York City, a picture of your vaccination cards will suffice. Yeah. So that's the thing is I know if you're going to France, you have the, the Sonic Day anti-COVID app on your phone like i have it on mine for for our trip coming up to france Ooh, spoiler we're going to france so um but like that's on there this one you can a lot of places we've gone to i just had to show our, our like we were at an event in savannah and they had they had a requirement for their event and so we had pictures of it and it was okay so it's always good to have as many different copies as you can possibly imagine Risotto Eater, thank you very much for the super chat. Where's the best place to get a view of the White House and Senate in D.C.? If you're on the mall, you'll be seeing them from a distance, but you can literally walk right up to them. Like the, the, the walls and stuff that were up on the parks outside of the White House are down now, so you can go to like the ones you see on Pennsylvania Avenue, you know, where people are standing in front of the gates. Like you can you can get back and do that again. At least you could. There might be more walls up again now, but it, was, it had opened up for a bit. Uh, so there was that. So you can get up there and close. The same thing with, with the Capitol. You can get up and it's just right there. Like you don't have to go far away. For me, I like to be up close and see it and get like the whole picture picture. So that would be my advice for you. But if you want great photo spots, Risotto Eater, check out Trip Hacks DC. My buddy Rob runs that YouTube channel. He has videos that talk about like good places even to get the Instagram pictures, all kinds of stuff. So he can help you out.
Let's see. Let's see. We won't be for long. Countries losing big money on tourism. Yeah, I mean, that's why. I mean, it's a big uh, tourism is a huge industry for a number of countries. And it, you got to pay the bills if you don't, if, especially if you're living in places like in the Caribbean. You know, like that's how most of the, most people there are making their living. And if all of a sudden that's all gone, it, it's tough. So that will get people to open up more. Mm. Colleen has a great point. Colleen Koss points out, also make sure your passport's up to date. They're taking a little longer to process due to COVID and stain, and stain shortages. This is true. Remember, you had that the passport offices were closed for like a few months during COVID. I know Liam, we couldn't get him a new passport. So we didn't end up going anywhere when we could when the kids were online. So then we eventually got his new passport. And now there's a big rush and there's a delay. So it's taking a long time to get your passport. So if you want to travel international and you don't have a passport or it's not, you know, it's going to go invalid soon, you need to get in there now and, and apply. Um, and what you need to realize is most countries around the world require that you are in the country and you leave with six months left on your passport. So though your passport's valid for 10 years, it's only worth using for nine and a half years. Okay, so you might want to get something up. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not going to travel right now, Mark, I'll wait. I would just order it anyway and just get it out of the way so it can come when it comes like maybe in February. Maybe it'll come in December. I don't know. So you have it and it's kind of uh, you have that done. Okay. Phoenix, I really like Alabama, California. I love the beach places. Yes. We're, actually, I'll be in Gulf Shores, Alabama early next year. So Mel says, foreigners don't have to quarantine arrive in the U.S., but Americans have to quarantine in other countries, right? That is a country-by-country -country basis. Um, if you are vaccinated in most places, it will. If you're vaccinated going to Ireland, you don't have to quarantine. If you're going to France, you don't have to quarantine. Uh, so it really depends where you're going, uh, what their restrictions are, because there's no one set thing. That's why it's really important to check it out. You know, I mean, Costa Rica, which is a fantastic place, has very different restrictions than places like, you know, Japan. So something to think about. Ah, Chris Bates has another good point. Something to expect is some delays in checking into room or lack of housekeeping services on a daily basis. A lot of the U.S. is struggling with labor shortage and in some cases supply shortages. This is true. So while we have been traveling the last year and a half, pretty much every hotel we've gone to say, we are not going to clean your room. If you want it clean, we need to schedule it. So call us and we can schedule a cleaning. Okay. I was in L.A., at the, what was it, the Hyatt? No. It was a Marriott property. I was there for a conference. And I was there for eight days, and I couldn't get them to clean, come clean the room. So I could get new sheets, not new sheets. I could get new towels, but getting the clean stuff was a little bit more of a pain. So be ready for that, all right? And you'll see that sometimes you go to the front desk and, and nobody's there. It could be because the front desk people are actually doing the cleaning while all these things are going on. So let's see. Oh, no, Grant, there are no flights from Scotland until May 2022, and they're making it hard for us to fly via England, too. Oh, that sucks. I love me some Scotland. Love me some Scotland. All right, I think we're going to go. I think we'll be back the end of next year up in uh, up in my family's land. So I, I've switched to the other W word. That's it. Ah, oh, Netherlands. I will be there springtime next year hopefully i get to see some of the uh the tulips so this is one i talked about in the beginning are all vaccines recognized uh not all vaccines so for the u.s the ones that are that are re that are recognized uh Sinovac, pfizer moderna johnson johnson astrazeneca uh there's a couple more that were there the only one that i noticed that was not was the russia sputnik one that one was not accepted yet. I don't know where it is in the proof of process or whatever, but that's the one um, that I have. Excuse me. So Paul Tippin says, is the NHS COVID app okay to show for vaccination? Or do you have to show an actual card? I would bring the card just in case because if the people don't know. They don't know what the NHS app is. I've had this before when I was going to places and I had a U.S. driver's license. They're like, we don't understand this. We want to see the local stuff. So I would bring your paper one just in case. Hey, John, good to see you too. 
Laura asks, what are the rules to fly to Canada? I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea. Sorry. Grad, thank you very much for the super sticker. Sorry, I can't see it. When I'm out here on StreamYard, they don't show me the, the pictures. So, sorry. My bad. Uh, Kalodi, U.S. citizen in the U.K., flew back to visit the family, and the plane was full. Everyone seemed pretty happy. I'll be honest with you. While I've been flying the last few months, I mean, all my planes have been full. Every single one. And we, I've gone, I mean, obviously, via Atlanta. So, a lot of trips to Atlanta. But we were like, let's see, there was Savannah. There was Alabama. There was... Florida, Florida, Vegas. Where else do I go? There's some other ones. They were everything was full. Sam has a question. I'm rebooking my new Orleans stay. Uh, is there a much difference between a three and four star hotel in the U.S.? It seems less pronounced than Europe. Yeah, I don't really go with the star systems in the U.S. I uh, Basically, it's like, oh, it has a pool. It doesn't have a pool or something like that. Or it has a restaurant. It doesn't have a restaurant. The star systems, the star systems like they were 20 years ago, it's not the same thing. So that that would be one thing. I'm sure someone like Chris Bates could, could elaborate more about that in the U.S. So, yes, New Orleans is a fantastic city. Cheapest country to travel to is probably your own country because then you're not buying an international flight ticket. Da -da -da. So there's something there. But there are some cheap places. I usually recommend Southeast Asia and South America for good, affordable places to go. Oh, we've got a new member, Amanda Gonzalez. Thank you very much. Amanda, um, I will put a thing in our community tab after I finish with this. Just say, hey, if there are any new members that need to join our superheroes group, I'll, I'll put a link there and then we can get in contact and get you into our, our superheroes group. So welcome to the team. Awesome to have you here. Kenneth is heading to Na home, wanting to head to NASA. I'd love to go to the Bahamas too, where I'm actually looking to go there too. So, so by so far, is the European proof of vaccinations going to be enough to enter sports venues and theaters? Well, in the U.S., we don't have restrictions on sporting events or, or theaters right now. Um, well, some theaters do, like event places do, um, but I, I would assume if you have your proof, I would just have the piece of paper one. Um, just to have it, uh, just because that's the easier one to do. Uh, some places I've gone to, they were like, oh, you have a picture of it? That was fine. So it's usually pretty, not lax, but a little bit easier to go through. Yes, Jamie, North Carolina is a good place to visit. The Outer Banks are a great beach vacation, good for the whole family. Yeah, Laura said her flight to Savannah was full. Best time of year to visit Nebraska and Kansas? I would say probably early fall um, because right before they take down all the corn and all the beans and everything, then you have all those fields of, of stuff there. Uh, that would be my best time because it, it can get really cold and brutally cold and windy. I mean, it's windy there a lot, but like in the winter. Uh, so that would be my recommendation. Let's see. Oh, good evening, my friend in Greece. John asks, can German citizen travel to the U.S.? I haven't been able to find out which third three countries have been okay for travel. Um, hold on. I believe Germany is on the list because there are Germans that are already coming back. There's a few people that are on flights that were coming. Um, and that is one of the things, figuring out the, the 33 countries. Picking up what countries are allowed in the U.S. right now. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. That's the wrong country. We will look for it. We'll find some stuff for you, but I'm pretty sure you can. Ah, Nico. Or oh, oh, Nico has a go. Oh. So, Global Nico, if you want to see some stuff in Greece, uh, Global Nico is traveling around the country, a journalist as well. So, you get to learn some stuff in a professional way and a fun way. Let's see. So Coastal's World of Music, have you ever heard of the OAG Guide? I have not um, because I'm, I mean, it won't matter. I'm still going to take the same flights. So there's that. Oh, Tanzania. If you ever get a chance, Tanzania is fantastic, people. Uh, East Africa in general is a wonderful place. Tanzania and Rwanda probably the two most friendly people in and really great for tourist locations in, in, in Africa. I can't, I cannot recommend them enough. 
Okay, Randall, winter is coming. Yes, it is. And we're not even watching Game of Thrones anymore. Recommendations for drivers with no experience in snow condition. I'm visiting D.C. during Christmas. So D.C. doesn't always have snow because it's relatively warm there, so you should be okay. Um, one thing is, is you got to take things slow. You can't slam on your brakes. You'll start sliding. If you start sliding, you turn into the slide uh, when you're doing that. But I'll let Jocelyn say because she's the driver of the family. You have to drive like your grandma is in her very best church clothes and she's got a huge pot of chili sitting on her lap. If you keep that in mind, you'll drive just fine. Am I right? Yep. So, Marvin, you posted the American CDC MSC for most current. Yes, that's where I'm getting a lot of my stuff from. I've got about 30 pages of notes right behind the computer. Um, and I'm going through those and uh, the CDC actually had decent stuff this time. Sometimes it's kind of like just basic, but this one was, I was quite happy with that. Jack Presley, are there restrictions on bars? No. It, well, there's different restrictions everywhere you go, but like where I go, no, the bars are full. People are drinking, having a good time. So yes, Jenny, we can get to Sweden and you can come to the U S I can't wait. It'll be a fun time. Let's see. Okay, D asks, how early one should be at the airport? Is there, is there any rapid PCR test done at the airport before boarding? That is an airline by airline airport kind of thing. And they could be expensive at the airport. I cannot say because it depends where you're flying from and where you're flying to and all those things. Sometimes you just do it yourself and get taken care of. But there are places that will do it. I know when I was in LA, there was like there's an in and out burger and a little park where people watch the planes land. And across the street from that was a, do you need a 30 minutes or less piece or a COVID test for a flight? We can help you. I think it was like 300 bucks too. So be careful with those. Um, when it comes to airports, the delays that you're seeing more is when you're landing in the U S um, and going through all the extra restrictions, the border questions and stuff. Cause here's another thing, the border and customs agencies, they're low on staff. And since they haven't been used, they haven't been hiring people for a while. So they're expect some really long. I mean, we're not talking like March, 2020 lines, but look for some really long lines at, at, um, at, at uh, the, the passport control. Okay. Okay. So Grace, Grace McKenzie, me and my family are going to Paris in a month. Awesome. Do you think our vaccine cards are enough? No. Well, yes, you have to take that. We apply for the pass sanitaire, but haven't heard back. So they just changed the rules like a week ago. So what you're going to have to do is go to a pharmacy when you're there, take your passports and your vaccine cards, okay? And then they'll you'll download that, that anti-COVID app, which I will show you what it looks like. Um, do, do, do. It literally says anti-COVID. It might deactivate it right now because the health pass because I'm in the U.S. So there's no point. But you'll you'll get that. Let me see if I. You see the little like QR code thing there. See my things. The anti-COVID like you'll have that on there, and then you'll go, and then they'll the pharmacy will give you an okay, and they'll send you either an email or a text. I'm not sure. Then have a QR code, and then you save it onto the app, and it's in there. That's what you're going to do. But just having your card will not be enough. You'll have to do uh, get it done. But the pharmacies all around, we're taking them. Um, now, if you look on the website, it'll show you where the closest pharmacy to you is that accepts it. Uh, so you can do it that way. Let's see. Yeah, USA travelers have been allowed in the UK since May. Yeah, that's why the, U the UK is one of the places we're, we're, we're definitely going to be traveling to. Don't worry. Uh, we'll be back soon so mark smith will international flights be more reliable than u.s flights um i th think all the flights are about the same u.s airlines are running like they were though you did have the 2000 american flights that were canceled you had all the southwest flights that were canceled earlier i'm not going to get into the reasons why those things are happening because but just know there could be more cancellations because of work things and i'm going to leave that at that um, let's see. <laughs> Can I do a rap with all the places I've been? I, <laughs> I think I'd be made fun of. Uh, ah, Joe just got back from Tybee and Savannah. Your videos were so helpful. Thank you. I'm glad, Joe. I still have, I have a new, got some new Savannah stuff I'm coming out. Actually, I've been putting out new Savannah things. So you notice I keep saying, hey, subscribe to our 
new th- new channel. We actually have a travel shorts channel because I don't want to have it on the Walter's World channel because Walter's World is more like, you know, 10 to 15 minute long travel videos that give you a lot of information where the shorts are under a minute. And so it's like little tips for when you're going someplace, little advices. Like I'm going to have all the restrictions. I'll be talking about the restrictions in a minute long video. And it's it's for your mobile. So it's the vertical videos. Um, but if you do subscribe, I'm trying to put out videos almost every day. And it's literally like from 15 seconds to 55 seconds long. Uh, but it is like I like I was working on one today. I, I broke down some of our older videos. And one was like, why you don't wear cowboy boots in Nashville? And and my hope is, is now that we're traveling, we're going back traveling more. Um, I'm going to have some more specific things out there. Like I have one I filmed that's going to be a short talking about, hey, what are the best seats for Husky travelers? So it's not necessarily something that's like a 10 minute long video, but it's something I can put in a minute or less video. Um, I'm going to be doing those. So uh, at least that's the hope. That's what we're doing. We already have, I mean, we just started it, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, let me show it to you. So let's see, it's Walter's World Shorts. Now oh, it's backwards, I know. But uh, it's on there. See, there's only 295 subscribers. See, it's brand new, brand new. Got some things on there to talk about. It. You can see Johnson walking like a supermodel. You can see some advice. So there's city advice, all kinds of stuff to help out. So uh, please do subscribe on that one. There should be a link in the comments. I pinned it to the top so you can go there and and, and sign up. Amanda, what's up? When are you coming back to San Antonio? I will be back in San Antonio in, I think, September of 2022. Because I'll be there for a conference. Zach, here I come, Ohio. There you go, Zach. I got some Ohio videos coming, but not until the end of December. I got a Cleveland, Columbus, and Don'ts of Ohio. So we got some fun stuff coming. Andrea or Andrea. Any plans to visit Egypt? We have. They got canceled last year. They got canceled the year before. So it is, it's in the place we were going to be going soon. Well, not soon, but like when we can, we will be going. Um, but now it's like there's so many places we want to go and there's friends we want to see that we haven't seen for so long. I think I think next year we'll be more going to see friends we haven't seen for two years or three years um, just to go see them and spend time with them. So I think that's going to be a, um, a theme for next year. But we're going to try to get some other new cool places. Hopefully Egypt will be one of them because that would be very, very cool. Let's see. So Global Nico, he's in, the, he's in Greece, having a U.S. vaccination card in Greece. Hasn't been any problem for me yet. Only one place had trouble recognize it out of many I needed that. Okay, so cool. Oh, Thomas Hughes, hey, Mark, any tips for getting through customs quickly? Flight arrives at Heathrow at 8 a.m., and I need to catch a train to Liverpool by noon at the earliest. Okay, so here's one of the big mistakes people make. They go to the bathroom when they get off the plane. Look, you know when you're supposed to land. That little timer will tell you. And remember, you start the descent about 30 minutes out. Maybe it's international flight, maybe 45 minutes out. But when it's about an hour out from landing, go use the bathroom. Do everything you need to do. Get it done. Pack up all your stuff then. Look, you mean keep your headphones, listen to some music or something. But pack everything away. Get your shoes on. Get yourself all ready. So when you do land, you want, you don't have to stop to go to the bathroom when you're there. You don't have to like pack up your stuff and wait like, oh, let me get things together. You're ready to go. And once you get out, you go. You just go. You don't walk. You like hurry walk to get to customs quicker. Because if you sit back and go to the bathroom, that's 10 minutes. That's 10 minutes of people that go past you. And 10 minutes of people can be a lot longer than 10 minutes at the customs line. Okay. So do that. Um, that's, that's the biggest advice I can give you. Go to the bathroom on the plane. And get everything ready so you can just go right away. Okay. Let's see. Drew wants to know, Mark, would you recommend Chile and Argentina or Brazil? Ooh. Chile and Argentina? Man, that's a tough one. Uh, if you don't speak Portuguese, I think I'd go Chile and Argentina. But I love Brazil. Brazil, But I speak Portuguese, so. It's a little bit different. Let's see. Angelica. Angelica. Ang- Angelica. No, it's Angelica. Look, Angelica. Um, Yanaris. 
Carnio Fala because yesterday would have been her um, name day. Name's day. There you go. When will you and your family go to Greece again? Will you ever go to Rovius Evia? Do you know that place, babe? Yeah. Rovius Evia? I don't know it. If it's in Greece, I'm sure we'd be willing to go there. Uh, we'll be back actually next summer. So we will be there. Mark Smith, months left on passport, still true? Yes. It's only got six months left. UK will still let you in, but a lot of the places will not. So, Oh, Conrad in Poland. I got to get back to Warsaw. I got to get back to Poland. It's been too long, my friend. Uh, Pika, yes, we will be back to Italy. I still have a couple of Italy videos to put out, but we will be there this summer for probably a month. Uh, Katie, good to hear. Gulf Shores is good fun. We'll be there with some friends, so it'll be a good time. Let's see. Portland or Sacramento? I would go Portland, even though Portland has kind of a bad reputation right now. Um, Portland's still probably better to visit than Sacramento as a traveler. Um, let's see. Um... Mark Smith, no sober shampoo in some of the hotels. Yeah, sometimes we're running low. Like, I, I've, I've been taking stuff with me to places. KD, is it safe to stay in a hotel? Yeah, it's safe to stay in a hotel. People, I don't, I must have missed the conversation on that one. Um, yeah, KD makes a point. Yes, I clean Airbnbs on the weekends in Nashville, and there's definitely a labor shortage. Yeah, that's why, that's why when you go to your hotel, like, they'll get it clean. Well, eventually they'll get it clean between the person who stayed before you and you. But while you're there, don't expect your stuff to get clean. Like what I do is try not to make a mess. But when, when I see the cleaning staff in the hallway, I'll ask for, hey, could I get a few towels? Could I get some more shampoo just to get that so I have it? Um, just to have a heads up. Grace, um, I answered this question a little bit ago. Your, Pat, your, what you'll have to do is go to a pharmacy and you'll take your passport and you'll take your vaccine card to the to the pharmacy. And then the pharmacy will send you either a text or email with a QR code. You upload your QR code to the anti-COVID um, app, which is looks like this. Um, like it says, you know, scan a QR, scan a code and you just scan it and you can have it there. So you do that. It just takes time. Um, I don't expect to hear back from them before you go. You're just going to have to do it when you're there. I know they had this whole big thing. You can do it before you go. Uh, I'm still waiting on mine too. So that's why I'm ready to get it when I get there. So. Wow. Daniel feels we had an executive host at Atlantis, Reno, quit because they were making her clean rooms. It's hard to get, but it is hard to get people. Like you will see, right? Like that's what you all, you gotta, not you all, because if you're watching this, you know how to be a good traveler. But people need to realize is that don't you can't get upset with people that are actually working because they're actually working they're there they're they're cleaning the rooms they're doing the stuff they're doing as much as they can but there's only so much one person can do so it can be a bit tough jack presley tips on driving in the u.s that is a future video that'll be coming out um basically just no occasion we can actually turn right on red not in New York City, but a lot of places you can turn right on red. So if you're waiting to turn right, there's nobody there. People are honking at you, and they say, I want you to turn right. Um, what else? Everyone hates the left lane driver, so make sure you stay on the side uh, if you're on the highway. Um, but otherwise, if you're driving the UK, you'll be fine in the US. Just know that it's going to be hard to find a manual. I hope you can drive automatic. Uh, so there's fun. Oh, Malta. Always good at Malta. I'm down to one Maltese glass, wine glass. Oh, so sad. Hey, Bavaria. Good to see you, Michael. Let's see if we got some more questions up here. Texas, good to see you. Uh, Josh Gruber, do I need to be vaccinated? Yes, you do need to be vaccinated to come to the U.S. Um, actually, I think what I'm going to do... Ooh, excuse me, we have a new member. Uh, Airbnb Motel right now. It used to be if I was staying someplace more than three days, I would do an Airbnb. But now, I, I don't know. It's probably like four or five days now because hotels and stuff. Because the cleaning is not getting any better at Airbnbs either. So that is something there. But I saw we have a new member. Oh, wow. That, lots of questions here. I'm going to have to scroll down a lot here. My goodness. Dominic Bashford, thank you very much for becoming a new YouTube member. 
I'll be putting a little note on the community tab that'll only show up for members uh, after the live feed. So just be on there so we can get you onto the um, onto the superheroes Facebook group. So we have that. All right, Paul, going to El Salvador. We had a good time in El Salvador. Do be prepared for people with very big guns uh, everywhere. So just have a heads up. It's just for security. Say, you know, those things. Any advice on visiting El Salvador? Surfing towns like La Virgad or Playa del Tunco. Uh, don't be out at night. We stayed on the beach just south of La Libertad. Uh, it was fine. Um, you're probably going to stay in like a compound kind of thing. That would be my best recommendation for you. But it's it's relatively safe for tourists. Uh, we had a good time. We were there. Do not get anywhere near the like drinking water because you will like bad things will happen to you. And what the thing is, they know for the tourists, they'll give the tourists the, like the the tap not tap water, the bottle water and stuff. But if you have them fill up your water bottles, make sure they know that. Look, I need to make sure this is purified water, not not tap water, because uh, we someone helped us and they helped us with um, tap water. That was bad. That was bad, bad, bad. But thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, but yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over again, since I started the, the chat, the, the live talking about the restrictions and, and what it means to be traveling to the U S again, I'm going to do this again. And don't forget, I'm going to put a video together either for this Saturday or next Wednesday, which will go through the requirements for people that want to come to the U S from not that aren't from the U S. So I'm going to go through those now. So First thing, now that the U.S. opened on November 8th, the U.S. opened to a limited number of countries, but it is open uh, to a number of countries to come visit the United States. And the restrictions are, one, you need to be vaccinated and you need to be fully vaccinated and fully vaccinated. The CDC has a list of what counts as fully vaccinated for the vaccines that are accepted. But in general, it's two weeks after your last shot. OK, so you have to have that and you have to have proof of it, whether it's digital or or a paper copy, you need to have that with you when you come. You will probably need to upload it onto something to your airline before you go. You'll have to show it at the airport. And when you land, when you're the passport control, they can ask you for it as well. So do not like lose it in the plane. You need to make sure you have that. In terms of vaccines that are accepted, AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson Johnson, Sinovac, uh, they are accepted. There's a couple more in there. As of right now, I do not think the uh, Russia Sputnik is is approved. So that one wouldn't work. So you got to have a heads up for that. Um, also, it's not just you're vaccinated. You, everyone, whether you're a non-U.S. citizen or a U.S. citizen, you have to take a COVID test, antigen or PCR, as of what I found, check to make sure, but that you have to take that before you fly. Now, if you are fully vaccinated, you can take the test within three days of departure, okay? If you're not vaccinated, yeah, if you're not vaccinated, then it's one day. But the thing is, not vaccinated, not vaccinated, it's only certain exceptions that people can fly if they're not vaccinated, okay? If you're a U.S. citizen, you're not vaccinated, you can always come back, but you still have to test within one day. And it has to be a negative test. If you get test positive, they're not going to let you on the plane, okay? Uh, so there is that. Um, if you're looking to travel with your kids, uh, children 17 and under, there's no vaccine uh, requirement for them. However, children from the ages of 2 to 17 have to test before they fly to the U.S. If they're U.S. citizens or not, you have to, the kids have to test, okay? Now, if it, it gets complicated here, okay, so if the parents that they're traveling with are fully vaccinated and they're traveling with them, then the kids can take the test up to three days before and 72 hours before departure. If the parents are not vaccinated or the child is traveling on their own, so if they're going to study abroad, then they have to take the test within 24 hours of departure. Okay. So that's something to think about. Okay. Now I'll say, I want to make sure you realize that these restrictions are very fluid. They can change. So if you're watching this now, it could be different in, in a, a couple of months. So just have an idea um, that that does happen. Also, if you're coming in, don't forget, we do have the ESTA visa program for the U.S. for, for non-U.S. citizens. Uh, non-U.S. citizens? Yeah. And so you still need to fill out your ESTA forms and do all that. Um, do expect longer lines at check-in and longer lines when you're going through because of the extra questions, extra stuff. Also, less staff at airports. You know, having people beat up airport staff doesn't make people want to actually work at the airport or work on airlines. So some of them have left. 
So you want to make sure that you're treating them with respect, being nice to them, and don't be crazy. You don't want to end up on YouTube or the news for being one of the crazy people that attacks, you know, flight attendants. I mean, they're trying, they're there to help save your life. Okay. So don't do that. Okay. Um, I'm looking over my notes. Anything else I want to make sure we get across? Yeah, the delays. Um, also, I would recommend you got to have your pat your your proof of vaccination. Digital, I'd have your paper one as well. You might have to show it in some place in the U.S. Some of some events will ask you to show it. Sometimes they're okay with the picture. Sometimes they're not. Um, some cities like New York and, and San Francisco might have, like, you have to show it just to sit down in a restaurant. Other places, like I was in Wisconsin, nobody cared about anything. There was no mask mandate either. Mask, that's one thing. If you're flying and you're in the airport anywhere in the U.S., you have to have a mask on. Doesn't matter what you're, you got to have the mask on. Otherwise, you can get in some trouble with that. Okay. So have those with you. Um, when you're indoors in different places around the US, you got to realize is every state has different rules. And a city can have different rules than the state overall. So make sure you know what rules is going on in terms of mask mandates and if you have to show vaccinations and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah. So those are some things I really want to say. Just have patience with everybody. Hotels. They're lacking staff. Restaurants are lacking staff. Make reservations whenever you can for events. Make sure you're checking not just the website, but go to their social media as well for places you want to go because they'll have that more up to date. They'll say, oh, hey, we're, we're closed takes. We don't have staff where that would show up on a website because it takes too long to do that. So just want to give you a heads up on that one. Um, let's see. Hans has a good question. How could you book in advance with any confidence when the rules keep changing? That's exactly right. That's why companies like uh, Delta have said, look, we're not going to charge any change fees because of this exact thing. Um, I know for us, like that's where I've looked at what have countries done over the last 18 months. If they're ones that have shut back down right away and closed things down, I I'm, I'm giving myself another year before I think, even think about going to those countries because there's no point because they, they, but the countries that have been open the whole time or a lot of the time, like the UK, Spain, Greece, you know, Croatia, like these places, Mexico, I'm like, hey, I feel more comfortable planning that because they've always been open or they've been open for most of the time when this is going on and we're getting control of the virus and we're getting control of the situation. It's, you know, like people are, thank God, are, are not dying as much as they were. And it's, it, that's a wonderful thing. We're getting more vaccine people. So I'm, I'm hopeful, but you're right. It can be a bit tough. So here's one, Alexandria Adamson. If you're medically exempt in the UK from face coverings, would you be covered by the ADA to be exempt in the US? Coming over in April for a special birthday. Um, I would have to reach out to about that one. I do not know. Um, I know that lots of places in the US, like if you have your thing, people like you, you're okay. But people might be saying, you have to have that on and you got that proof. So if you show like, look, I got my UK exemption, be like, oh, British English. Oh, and an accent. We trust you. So you at least have that going for you when you come to the U.S. Um, but yeah, by April, I mean, honestly, most of the states don't have mass mandates right now. Um, but when you're flying, now when you're flying, I don't think they're going to, I think they're, they're, that's going to be a little bit different. Like you need to talk to the airline about that one directly. Okay. Um, yeah. Bob says, you know, mass required for public transportation, taxi, Uber, Lyft. Yeah. Those things, there are a lot. Four, though I have noticed a number of Uber and Lyft drivers and taxi drivers that aren't wearing masks, but you're asked to wear a mask, so it's more like, what do you prefer? I'm like, uh, please put it on. Uh, Eternal Nico, hello from Vicenza. We will be there later, th well, not later this year, next year. We'll be there back next year to film some more stuff and be there for a wedding, so it'll be good. John, going to America, any advice? Dude, we've got like 50,000 videos on coming to the U.S., so well, not that many, probably like 400 videos on traveling in the U.S., so plenty of stuff there. The mistakes of it coming to the U.S. is one that not a lot of people watch. I think it's worth watching. Scams, don'ts to the U.S., those ones are going to help you the most. And then we have stuff for states and cities all over. So just look wherever you're going and put Walter's World in, and hopefully something will pop up, okay? Yes, the border is – the Canada-U.S. border is busier now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, I just want to do this little, I mean, it's just a short live. We've been on for about an hour. I just want to get on here and talk about, you know, these changes that are coming on because this is big news. Like Europe's been open for a while. Now the U.S. is opening. We're going to see us getting together again, travelers from all over, meeting at hostels, meeting at bars, meeting at restaurants, meeting at events and, and, and museums and stuff. And 
I'm just really happy to see this starting up again. And I'm glad that our international travelers can come back to the U S and so um, I just want to say thank you for that. Um, anyway, but uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody hopping on today. Again, if you want, you can join our Walter's World Shorts channel, which should be linked. It's linked down below. And there's some of these other ones where we put out just short little 15 to 50 second little travel tips that you might not have thought of. We try to put one out, you know, if not every day, every other day. So it's on your YouTube feed. It's there. It's just, it'll show up in your short shelf. Don't worry. But we'll still put out our Walter's World videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And for the holidays, starting with Thanksgiving, we're putting out a lot more videos because you'll start having three Walters World videos a week, three Professor Walters videos a week, three Simply Jocelyn videos a week, and daily Walters World shorts. So whatever day you want, if you want to hear our beautiful voices and get our advice, we'll have stuff for you. So thank you, everybody, for being on here. I wish you all the best, and we'll talk more later. Um, I might do a live later tonight. Um, uh, for other people to talk about similar things. Uh, otherwise, I wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you. Bye. Oh, yes, I do take business questions on the Professor Walters channel. Bye.